the six action that can be taken is that Muslims should take out a protest, a peaceful protest against the blasphemy or against the act that has been done. But we should make it a point that the protests should be peaceful. We should not use any violence. We should not damage any property. We should not do vandalization. It should be a peaceful protest and larger the numbers, the better it is. And we know that there were large numbers in protests that have taken place in the past in various acts of blasphemy done in the past, whether it be Salman Rajdi, whether it be Danish cartoons. And now also, just a few days back, mashallah, people did take out large processions in countries like Bangladesh. There were more than 40,000 people. Larger the procession, the better it is. It should be a peaceful procession and there should be a letter drafted depending upon what the act that is done wrong. In this case, it can be to the French embassy or the French consulate in that city. A letter should be given to the consul general or to the ambassador that we disagree what the president of France has said against Islam, against our beloved Prophet Muhammad There should be a letter of condemnation. These processions that are there, it has an impact. The larger the procession, the better it is. And whenever such processions are called for, we Muslims should take part, but see to it that it is a peaceful protest. Because larger the audience that you have, the public that gathers, the larger will the media portray. It will have a better impact on the people. The seventh action that a Muslim can take is that if that act is such that it is promoted by a particular country like the act what happened in the beginning of this month was by France, by President Macron, then the Muslims can call for a boycott of the products of that country. And in this case, we could see, mashallah, that many Muslim countries, mashallah, they called for the boycott of the French products, of French goods and services. And alhamdulillah, inshallah, it will have a great impact on France. And in this campaign that I did on my Facebook, I made five posts last Wednesday, about three days ago, mentioning that we should boycott the products of France and the services. And since I could see that most of the posters that spoke about boycotting the goods, the products weren't mentioned in detail and the brands weren't seen clearly. So I decided to select the 100 most famous brands of France, starting from Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes and so on and so forth, total. And the first post I gave the top 10 brands of France. The second post, the top 11 to 25 brands of France. The third post, the top 26 to 50 brands from France. And the fourth post, the top 51 to 75 brands of France. And the fifth post, top 76 to 100. So I divide it so that the brands could be seen clearly. And Alhamdulillah, the response was phenomenal. In the first four posts that I gave on the same day, the least it reached in a span of three days was four and a half million people, mashallah. And the highest post was, mashallah, more than seven million. Normally, on my Facebook, as I told you, though there are 22.6 million followers, normally, when I give a post, it reaches about 500,000 people, 800,000 people. If it's more popular, 1 million, sometimes 2 million. But, mashallah, this time, though all the posts were similar, one post reached more than 7 million in a span of less than 3 days. 
I checked today before it reached three days. MashaAllah, seven million people read that message. And the lowest among the four posts was four and a half million people. So all these four posts put together, 22 million people, MashaAllah, read these posts. Imagine 22 million people, that means average each post was viewed by five and a half million people. As I said, that when a campaign is done, we should see to it that we don't leave all our activities. I decided to do this campaign on my Facebook for five days only because I've been involved in other Dawa activities. We should not stop all other activities and all of us are concentrating on this for months together. Yes, we have to take out some time, maybe five days, six days, one week, and then continue the activities. And there should be others who carry forward, which I will discuss later in my 14th point. So banning the products has a great impact. And when this was done in 2006 in relation to the Danish cartoons, again the prophet, when there were 12 cartoons that were printed in the Danish newspaper, Alhamdulillah, according to estimate, they went in a loss of somewhere close to $2 billion. And it has a great impact. This is the seventh point. The eighth point is that Every Muslim should contribute for this cause, whatever he can. If he is a rich man, he can give a big amount. Even if he is poor, he should not say that, what will my few dollars do? Because if Allah has given someone a capacity to donate 10 million dollars, and he donates only 1 million dollars, and Allah has given someone a capacity to donate 10 dollars, and he donates 20 dollars, this poor man who donates 20 dollars will get multiple time more sawab than the rich man who has donated a million dollars. So Allah will see on what capacity he has given you based on that. So percentage is more important than the amount. If Allah has given you a capacity to spread the message to a million people and you spread it only to half a million people, Allah has given you a capacity to spread to 100 people and you spread to 200 people, your sawab will be much more than the other person. So whatever you can contribute for the full cause, whether to have protests or whether to have programs, whether to put on the billboard, give it to organizers involved in this or donate for the cause, whatever you can, at least there is a sense of belonging that you are giving your hard earned money for this cause to the best of your ability. I am putting the points in the order that a common man can do and then going to those points which is difficult for everyone to do. So as far as the first eight points are concerned, almost all the Muslims can get involved. Number one, condemning and agree the act is wrong. Number two, using the social media to spread it as much as they can. Number three, you can distribute booklets or pamphlets on the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number four, pointing out this issue to the important people who they think are public opinion makers. Number five, you can put billboards, hire big billboards in important cities and put statements of our beloved Prophet, the Hadith of the Prophet, what non-Muslim said about the Prophet, statements of important non-Muslim personalities, how they praise the Prophet. Number six, is taking out a peaceful protest procession. Number seven is banning the product of that country if it involves. The eighth point is that every Muslim should contribute for this cause, whatever he can. Depending upon the blasphemy and who has done it, these 15 points will keep on differing. 